Hey guys, what's up? You're welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Benhini podcast. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always taking time out to click or watch an episode. Now, I just want to say that the Spotify audio version that I've been talking about for the longest time is finally out. I did put out my first amateur version. It was so uncut let me say it was definitely uncut but i absolutely loved it so be sure to check out our audio version on spotify if you're looking for the audio version to listen to you know if you're on the run or like doing stuff around be sure to check out spotify okay i'm trying out a different microphone today let me know if the sound is good in today's episode i'm talking all about self-awareness so i've been saying that this season is our season of of going on the journey of growth and just allowing ourselves to heal from all of the things that we need to heal from just so we can become the best versions of ourselves and the first step of you know just allowing yourself to grow or going on a journey of discipline or doing anything on this journey of self-development is self-awareness you need to be aware of yourself you need to know yourself okay let me just say that not knowing yourself enough is putting you in the wrong places not knowing yourself enough is putting you in situations that you're not even supposed to be in putting you in places that you're not supposed to be in a huge part of growth is maturity a huge part of growth has to do with your mind and how your mindset is affecting your general lifestyle and when I say self-awareness this is the type of self-awareness that is going to allow you to get on the journey of growing or begin your journey I like to say kickstart your journey of growing so in this episode I'm gonna share with you a few things that you can do to allow you to get to know yourself a lot more help you to be more self-aware and self-awareness is just generally knowing yourself knowing the things that you do as a person this is your personality but it's just something that you haven't taken time out to you know to know it's just things that you haven't taken time out to like note that oh this is things that I do this is actually things that I like and things that I don't like sometimes we just might be going along the days of life or just like be going along life without knowing a lot of the things about ourselves and sometimes when you find something about yourself or find out something about yourself you're like oh I didn't actually know that I liked that or I didn't actually know that I could do that or I didn't actually know that I didn't like that you know sometimes somebody has to do something to you for you for it to actually like hit you and say that you know I don't think I like that or I've actually come to realize that this is something that I am I'm uncomfortable with but when you're self-aware it dictates a lot of the things in your life it dictates how your general appearance it dictates the people that you let into your life it dictates the type of men that you date it dictates the job that you do it dictates this your your general outlook on life so being self-aware it's literally the first thing that you want to do if you're going on the journey of getting to know yourself so in this episode what I'm gonna do is I will share with you guys a few steps I'll say about five steps that you can do to help you get to know yourself a lot more help you become more self-aware and just generally that journey of becoming that girl I love to say that because I feel like we're in the wave where every girl right now is learning how to just not just boss up but also be that girl be healthy mindset lifestyle everything you know so I'm excited about that so in this episode I'm definitely gonna be sharing with you guys all all these points that you can use um, or just keep in mind to help you become self-aware okay okay so the very first thing that I'm gonna say is if you're getting on that journey of being self-aware you want to start by reflecting on your core values I feel like this is key what are the things that are true to you as a person what are you what are your beliefs like what are the things that you believe or what are the things that you feel like you know these are the things for me that in life I feel like are my core values. They are the things that are my non-negotiable. Take your time, write it down, take it literally, just take a paper and a pen. That is the first thing that you wanna do. 
what to me what are my core values i believe in hard work it's key for me if i i don't believe in just talk i believe in hard work i know strongly that putting in the work gives you results it's a core thing for me so as a woman i believe that you have to thrive and work for yourself and be able to have something for yourself i believe that you have to be able to like have some achievements for yourself that's one of the core values that i have as a woman what are your core values what are the things that you feel like this is what is true to me this is what i believe that every basic human being should live by and that will kick start your you know your mindset or it will just put you in that mind frame of saying that okay these are the things that to me i believe um that are my core values these are the things that are not my non-negotiables these are the things that i feel like my life should be going by and then you can start asking yourself questions from there now the next thing that i'm gonna say is be mindful of yourself as a person my daughter is being a big baby today so if you hear her in the Hi. background downstairs she's all the way downstairs but if you hear her just know that toddlers are loud and that's just my life okay <laughs> but when I say be mindful of yourself I mean that just be aware of yourself in every moment like be present the moment when you're doing things when you have emotions you know when you're doing actions just be present in everything that you do be present in everything that you do it makes you more aware of the things that you do on a daily the way you react to things on a daily trust me i'm not even going to lie making yourself present in the little things that you do in just your daily activities in general can make you so self-aware because you get to learn a lot about yourself Sometimes you can be so busy going about life, doing all these kinds of things, forgetting or not taking time to get to know ourselves. And sometimes we're so busy getting to know people. And I'm always saying this because this was me at a point. This was me for a long time in my life, actually. I was so busy getting to know people just so I could please them. Because I keep thinking, well, how do I know you better just so I can be able to be the best type of friend to you or the best type of partner to you? But then I came to realize that knowing me knowing me allows me to serve you better it was such a light bulb moment for me i have to know me to be able to be the best type of person that i can be for you and that's what i mean when i say be present in the moment about yourself like when you're just in the general things that you do in your daily life be present be more mindful when you're talking just be aware of the things that you say the way you react to situations and if you're the type that loves journaling write down your feelings write down your thoughts write down your emotions whatever comes to mind write it down and then sometimes you just go back to it and it, it will amaze you the things that you write in the moment it's just amazing the things that you pour out in the moment sometimes when you're talking it's crazy because you don't like you're not able to replay it. but when you write it down in a journal you can actually go back to it and write um, read read it back to yourself look at the date the time and ask yourself is this really what I felt in the moments? Did I really say this to myself or was I really going through this at the time? So you get to know yourself a lot more if you're mindful of yourself. So now the next thing that I'm gonna say is, which I was never able to come to terms with for a long time, is seeking criticism. Seek honest criticisms from people that you trust and i've had to do it a few times and i've realized that there's actually no harm in actually asking someone that you know someone that you you respect someone that you know that respects you someone that you know that has your best interests at heart ask them that you know what do you feel about me or what do you think about me that is is a little off obviously you're old you're not you're an adult nobody can come out here and advise you or nobody can literally tell you what to do but sometimes you hear things about yourself from other people that just makes sense or sometimes you hear things from yourself from other people and you know that it's true you just know that this thing about me that this person is saying it's so true and sometimes it might be good sometimes it might be bad um and it might be something that will you know shake a little table might need you to work on something but it's good especially if it's coming from someone who has your best interests at heart it's good because that way you get to hear things that you maybe originally would not be looking at or just be 
overlooking because you just want to overlook it you know sometimes we just have certain characters that we overlook because we just want to overlook them because we just want to live with that character but if you hear from someone or if you just hear um, how it may be affecting other people it, it might help you work on it so definitely solicit advice or if if they had anything to say about you I've done it a few times again I did it recently and the things that you hear sometimes they will they would not you a little but it's also always good to hear what other people are really thinking sometimes you don't really care but I feel like it's always good to just generally hear what other people are thinking about you so that if there's something that you've been doing this whole time that you feel like is good but people feel like well no we don't think that is good you can go ahead and like tweak it a little now my next thing that I'm gonna say is now that you you know you've, you've done all these things you've written down your unique values your core values you made sure to like be mindful of yourself you seek advice or ask people for criticisms it's a little shaky to say but you now that you've done all of that the next thing that I would love for you to do is set some goals or what I would call rebranding okay repackaging okay because it's okay if you find out that there's something about yourself that needs to be worked on and that's what I call rebranding that's what I'm calling repackaging I've had to do that a few times on certain areas of my life so that's what I'm saying when I say that you want to set some goals or set some rebranding goals for yourself now that you're becoming more self-aware now that you know how you want to carry yourself now that you know how the things that work for you now that you know the people that you want to let into your life now that you know the places that you want to put yourself now that you know all these things you definitely want to map yourself out in a way that you're able to put yourself in these places meet these people interact with these people and just be able to build that life for yourself that life that now you see yourself in okay so yeah it's okay you've wasted some time we've all wasted some time but now is the time to rebrand yourself repackage the whole situation when i say the whole situation it's just the lifestyle repackage yourself and just make yourself that better person that you're supposed to be because now you're self-aware and now the last thing that i'm gonna say is self-awareness is literally a continuous learning journey okay see i'm always saying that life is a never-ending journey of just getting to know yourself learning and unlearning things and that's literally what self-awareness is going to be for all of us so you need to know that as you're going on this journey you want to invest in yourself invest in you know, if you're the type that likes to read books, if you're the type that likes to listen to podcasts, you know, whatever you want to do that you feel like is going to help you gain more knowledge, you know, just learn more things that can help you become a better person. That's what you want to do. And when I say invest in yourself, that's what I mean. It doesn't mean go and buy new makeup, go and buy new hair. Obviously do that because that's just extra self-care. But you want to do the self-care for your mentors. You want to do the self-care that you know that is helping you improve as a person and not just physically and not just like how you look on the outward you want to also make sure that when you open your mouth to talk in places when you're connecting with people it holds value like when you stand in places it holds value because you've worked on your mind you've acquired a lot of knowledge you know what you're talking about you know how to carry yourself that's what I'm talking about so invest in yourself buy some more books go to 7s okay online 7s if you're the type that doesn't like to go out so much Put yourself in therapy if you have to. Sign up for Skillshare if you have to because you could acquire a new skill that is going to help you become a better person. So it's all about growing. It's all about becoming the person better than we were the day before, the year before, the month before, if it makes sense. You get what I'm saying? You just want to make sure that you're investing in yourself because it's a continuous journey of just every day I'm becoming the better person. Every day I'm better than I was yesterday. So that's what I'm talking about, okay? Be sure to write all these points this little cute points down so that's it for all the points that I have I hope that this is helpful for anyone that is going to be going on your self-awareness journey come back to the video anytime that you want to come back to it it's always going to be here if you liked the video please give it a huge thumbs up if you haven't also subscribed please subscribe to the channel follow me on all socials Akosia Benhine and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you